let's discuss uh, question 2 of exercise 11b and here uh, you can see that uh, we have been given with a parallelogram in part a and a few angles are also given there whereas we have to calculate angle a and angle b uh, from this diagram by applying angle properties on a parallelogram uh, and from uh, these arrows we get to know that uh, uh, these these two uh, sides are parallel to each other and there is another uh, pair of parallel sides here so uh, for this reason this is a parallelogram and you can also see a transversal line is intersecting uh, the pair of these uh, two parallel lines now according to the property angle property of a parallelogram in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal so this angle a is going to be equal to 106 degree and the concept here which i applied here uh, because opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal now if you look at angle b and angle 48 you can see this is a transversal which is intersecting uh, this uh, line ad and this line bc so angle b and 48 is a pair of alternate angles so i am going to write b equal to 48 degree and the reason for writing this as 48 degree is because b and 48 uh, these two angles uh, are alternate angles now if we uh, discuss this part b once again we have been given with this parallelogram a b c d and uh, these two three angles are given there and we have to form angle C and angle D now once again here as we know that sum of angles in a parallelogram on the same side is equal to 180 degrees so I have to form an equation here so I have done here uh, I have written um, 4c plus 5c equal to 180 de degree and then I have simplified that and then I shifted this 9 on the right hand side and I got the value of this angle c as 20 degree now we also know that the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal so this angle 4c must be equal to this angle 2d so I have equated these two angles here 2d is equal to 4c and the reason for equating them is because opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal so in the next step I have substituted the value of uh, C here as I got here so I substituted this value here in this equation so 4 into 20 will give me 80 degree now I shifted this 2 on the right hand side and 80 is to be divided by 2 this is how you will get 40 degree so this way we have calculated the unknown angles in a parallelogram by applying angle properties